Hello everyone, Mark here, back with another Legacy video. Um, today trying something new, I have taken on a donation decklist from uh, my good Legacy pal Marcus. Um, I would like to respond, Marcus. Uh, Marcus would like me to try and play this Jeskai Staff Blade deck. Uh, this is his list and he's tuning it at the moment and would like sort of some, I guess, like uh, outside opinion on it. I'm not a control player, sort of, by heart. I have played some amount of Stoneforge Mystic before, but that was typically like in, in Death and Taxes, and I played some Maverick. I don't think I've ever really played like a Stoneblade deck, not continuously anyway. I, I dabbled with like a couple of times playing a league with uh, like Esper Doomsday with a Stoneforge package, but but yeah. So this deck has Stoneforge Mystic and Staff of the Storyteller as sort of kind of crowded on two drops here. Um, to, to, to basically win the game, um, we, we have the, the sort of Jeskai suite, no, no red cards in the main deck, but, so it's, it's a blue-white Azorius deck in the, in the, in the main, six forces, two Teferi, got the, the full eight, oh, sorry, eight set of plows, um, this is, like, 75 out of 75, what Marcus, uh, asked me to play, so I am, um, I'm, I'm going with that. My initial sort of just looking at the list thoughts were that um, the like the absence of Mystic Sanctuary kind of struck me, um, and I also was thinking that uh, maybe this list would have wanted like something like a, like a, the Wandering Emperor or a Timeless Dragon. We have one the Wandering Emperor in the sideboard, no Timeless Dragon. Um, also a bit curious, um, about like maybe if a shark typhoon could have been, could have been like a one of, could have been good, but I think Marcus' point was that Stoneforge Mystic kind of does the, 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 the lifting that shark typhoon would do in terms of like triggering the stabs, and, and this is sort of like better than shark typhoon without, uh, staff of the storyteller, but uh, yeah. Uh, that's at least sort of the uh, the 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 point I, I think I picked up from him. But anyways, um, the sideboard you got your red blast, your blue blasts, a bit of graveyard hate, um, some back to basics, which is cool I think, and um, and three terminus. And yeah, um, I think uh, when I asked Marcus about the Mystic Sanctuary, his 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 argument was that um, while testing, at least he w he really wanted the the mana base to be as solid as as possible. And then you can always sort of make it more vulnerable down the road if you buy, by increasing the power level with stuff like Caracas and Mystic Sanctuary. But for the time being, this is what he wants. So um, having said that, I'm going to jump into a league. All right, on the play for round number one. <clears throat> yeah, this seems fine. I'm um, going to fetch Island and Ponder. All right, so I think what I really just want to see here are like lands and force effects off of this ponder. And I got both, excellent. All right, let's, um, let's go like this. All right, that's a blue strategy. Maybe it's the mirror. Oh, it's, uh, it's breakfast, eh? Yeah, this is the B, B side of the combo, and they have eight of these. Or rather, they have um, four Nomads and, I would assume, like, one or two Shukos with, like, Sagas to fetch them. So I think um, I'm going to not drop Stoneforge, and I'm going to represent Plow. I'm going to go Pondering here. I don't want to tap out and then, like, get blown out by days. Um... Yeah, I think I'll draw the Prismatic Vista next turn and hope this force holds up. Yeah. Kind of worried about, like, Cabal Therapy here, but... Okay, so they have the Illusionist. Um, yep. Let's see if they also have the force to back it up. Okay, they did not. Okay, so now we have to decide whether or not to, like, play Teferi in today's like risk that 
And if he does resolve, is if that's even good enough? Because if they have another land plus another illusionist, then they can just like replay everything and, and win. Um, or if we go for the stone forge. I do kind of like going for the, the stone forge here. It's tricky though with the land drop because if I play the snow covered island, I'm no longer representing plow. But I think it, that's probably better than to not be able to brainstorm after the Stone Forge if that's what we were looking in, uh, at with the Prismatic Vista. Or at least, you know, we, we would have to fetch the third island. I suppose the, the get here is just Cauldra. That's a faster clock. Haven't really played Stone Forge like for real since Cauldra was printed, so it's a, it's a brave new world. All right, come on. Don't have another illusionist, please. Okay, brainstorm. I think at least means they don't have one uh, right straight off the the bat. <clears throat> um, right. Do they have one now? If not, then they are brainstorm locked. But they they were paying costs just then. Okay, Belfastrix, excellent. We are not worried about that. And. Prismatic ending is pretty sweet too. That's that shuts off their uh, like B part of the com of the combo. All right, so let's swing with uh, with Cauldra here. I'm not gonna prismatic ending now in case they for some reason put the the nomads in front. Okay, Cauldra gets in for four trample damage. Um, oops. So I am going to Prismatic Ending now. They would then need to have another Nomads and, like, top deck a, um, a Cephalid Illusionist, so. All right. So if we get this turn to untap... Uh-oh. I have... Oh, Teferi, okay. I mean, that's a little annoying because they they will get to bounce the germ. But um, I'm going to brainstorm in response. Okay. Well, that didn't help. So, put back Spell Pierce. I'm going to draw the Sculling Charm to shuffle here. They will bounce the germ. I will... plow the nomads and play my own teferi like after killing their teferi that's my plan so a force of will screws that up but and like we are at sub like five lands we're not a million miles away from actually um from actually um like equipping the cauldra to stoneforge but yeah we'll see Um, oh, what am I talking about? I'm, ah, no, no, I guess it doesn't matter. I can, I can bounce my, um, my germ token. Not my germ token, my, the, the cauldra, I mean. So if I bounce the cauldra, then they can, then they can actually, like, like, top deck a uh, cabal therapy here. So I think I'm actually, I'm going to plus this. And then I'm going to bounce and then replay Cauldra next turn. And hope that I don't think they would be playing like main deck prismatic ending, but I could be wrong. What will it be? They have five cards in hand. That's a lot. I played Cephalid Breakfast for a while, and I, I do like really, really respect the power of the deck. Oh, man, they chose to shuffle. Um, oh, and their own Stoneforge. Kind of hoping they don't have a cauldra. I know the list didn't play, or like some lists weren't playing them for a while, like at least for a while, but they do. Okay. Yikes. Shugo. Okay, so they have that. <laughs> wow. It's going to be a big germ. Okay, so. I am going to 
need to find like a piece of removal, but the good news is I have like six six of those. Um Yeah, let's see. Dress down. Okay, dress down is good. Dress down I can play at my end of turn. And um hmm. I am gonna lose to Fairy to the Stoneforge then. Hmm. I don't know. This is tricky. Is it worth losing to Fairy? I think I am going to I'm gonna bounce the Cauldra to draw a card here. I'm gonna replay it. And then I'll I'll see what I'll do. Um, I could leave Cauldra back to block, like to keep the Teferi for one more turn. Uh, this is tricky. Well, I am gonna get the Cauldra in at least. I mean, their hand is Cauldra plus something, um, which might not be that exciting. Um, so I am gonna, I think, attack. Yeah, I am gonna attack. Cauldra doesn't come down next turn, but they kill Teferi. Then I can attack once more. They'll be at uh, five. So we could like spike a plow here, which would be like really sweet. Okay, we don't. They could also leave back Stoneforge to then like have Cauldra on their turn, but I can't imagine they would do that. Teferi. I think I am going to say no to Mr. Teferi. Like, it's not the best because like we're losing the card advantage uh, race here, but I wonder if you're not supposed to like kill Teferi they 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 actually I was gonna say before you play the your own Teferi, but uh, I guess not. Um, that was a good draw. So how does this work? Okay, so they in response they violin men to not get I don't know blown out by this. No, nah, I don't know. Um. So I attack, they block. Does it have uh, Vigilance? Uh, no, it does not have Vigilance. So I attack, they block. And I just don't get anything through. I think I am going to do this instead. And get my Batter Skull. And just get it into play. And then next turn I can equip my my Germ... I suppose I don't need to get it into play right now. I don't think they're playing like a Vendillion Clique or something, but I don't think I have an attack here. Because um, they just block, nothing happens, and then I don't have mine to block with on the way back. There's their Cauldra. I can bounce the germ next turn and kill Teferi if I, if I want to. I also, I really have to be mindful of my clock here. I'm not like I said, used to playing uh, control decks. And um, I am concerned about like timing out. Also, what am I talking about? Uh, Mendelian click, uh, Teferi is in play. Step through. Oh, okay, that's scary. I wonder what they're going to get. Cephalid Illusionist. Oh, I just lose here? Oh, brutal. I forgot that that was a that that's just that just kills me. Okay, I am gonna make them 
exile the their deck and show or like get, put put it all into the graveyard to see what I should be expecting. Um, yeah, that's sort of the bonus you get of playing like a kill you on the spot combo in your in your mid range Stoneforge Mystic deck. That is pretty cool. Okay, so now they have two Narcomoebas. Now they got their third one. So now they just need to get uh, the Dread Return. They know my hand, so it doesn't like they don't need to discard or anything. Okay, there's a therapy. Uh, I should, just in case somehow I'm not like dead, I should, uh, okay, yeah. Just vial this in for good measure, or stoneforge it in, I mean. And what did they kill to do that? Uh, one of their narcos, sure. Okay, so they keep going eventually. They have one card in hand that I don't know about and they didn't like, therapy themselves i'm assuming it's not the the oracle uh there it is there's the oracle and they just need to put dread return on the stack and we can concede so what they have the saga package i would expect that we didn't see it how many vials one aether vial really they have one aether vial that's really interesting i guess to to get off the to get off the uh, the the Ursa Saga, uh, but it was exiled. One to fairy, and so they have two, three to fairy. Yeah, all right, cool, 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 cool. All right, we can see. All right, so sideboarding here. Like, um, hmm, so the Fairy Macabre come in, because they're kind of good. Um, I don't suppose, I was just thinking, like, how does Terminus work with, uh, with the, uh, the thing, the, uh, Nomads? I think it works the way I want it to work, but I, I don't think... I'm not sure if it's good enough to, like, if this is enough of a, a reason to bring in Terminus against the, like, the combo deck. It is a creature combo deck, so. Mm, let's put that in the may maybe pile. Um, I think we want, we want Blasts because, like, the Illusionist is blue, but Blast is also a little bit, like, meh, considering they, they have Discard, and they also have, like, white cards like Stoneforge and, and, and Nomads that we can't interact with. But I think the, the reason that uh, the fact that they have Teferi is on top of their other blue cards and forces and whatever, I think the Red Blasts are sort of justified. Um, okay, so, I mean, this is seven cards that feels a little bit, like, heavy to bring in. Um, and what don't we want? I wonder, like, bringing in the, the, the blasts, if that means we can shave a bit on, um, on some of the plow effects, because, like, we, we get blasts that, de that sort of beat, uh, the, 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 the important creature, the, the nomads. But blasts also, like, do double duty, and this might be a little bit much of that effect. Let's maybe cut one or two of these. We also need to hurry up because uh, I think the two spell pierce, I, I'm not in love with them, but they do counter to fairy pretty nicely. Maybe cut a minor misstep because like not that much of their deck costs one. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not also, like I'm not sure how, I think we can cut like the two forces that don't counter creatures because we're all bringing in like other counter effects or counter measures. So we have to cut one more thing. 
Maybe it's the batter skull. I don't see them pressuring our life total. And like we want the cauldra, and that's sort of it. So I'm, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. <laughs> um, I'm not used to to, to to playing control, like I said. So we'll, we'll you know we're learning together. Yeah, this is not a keepable hand, unfortunately. This seems fine. And surf, what do we cut here? I think it's between one of the brainstorms or one of uh, Pierce or or Blast. Mm. And did I see? Ah, uh, I, I forgot to look if they had days in their deck. That was stupid. Um, I don't think I saw any dazes, but I could be wrong. So let's um, let's go like this. This is where they go like Soul Land Chalice for one. Uh, we could we we at least have that covered, but <laughs> that would be pretty hilarious with this hand. I don't think I blast a um, a cantrip here. Although I will, you know, that might be a thing, a thing I'll regret saying if I die with like either Pierce or Power Blast in hand. All right. Let's, um, what, Drew of Rainstorm? I think I am okay. They they can't win next turn, like outright win. So I think I'm okay casting a brainstorm here. Um, yeah, that was that was decent enough. Let's um let's go like this. So we know we have an ending floating on top if we were to not need like critically to use one of our, our our spells on their turn okay another ponder i mean giving the combo deck time to just sculpt here is a little bit iffy so there is that they don't shuffle I think I'm gonna draw the uh, the ending here. Play the land, and I don't think I mind drawing the next land either, but we'll see. All right, there's a brainstorm. The old end of turn brainstorm. Okay. All right, are they tapping three mana to do something here? I'd be kind of excited about that. Get some value out of this spell pierce. Or they might just be like Strixing to to not like um, lose out on, like if, if they were to draw a card, they didn't want the one that was on top. I'm not going to brainstorm yet. I feel like I have a decent amount of sort of defense lined up here, so might as well keep the brainstorm and get some bit more value out of it later. Nomads on core. Um, I'm not going to plow. I think I am gonna ending it though. Okay, and I'm gonna pass. And I think if nothing else happens here, but I do expect something to happen, but if nothing does, I'm gonna brainstorm next turn. I believe that is the time. Okay. Now they are representing representing a uh, hardcast force. Oh, there's an illusionist. Okay. You can have that. Um, actually, I think I'm going to end of turn here, brainstorm. I'd like to not have my mana tied up on that. And 
let's go like this and draw the land. And um, so I don't, I guess I don't need to plow now. I think I'm just going to do Stoneforge things here. This might be a bit too nonchalant, but um, yeah, we'll see. Let's get Cauldra. Let's absolutely pray that they don't have their one Cabal Therapy in hand. Sure. Well, it's certainly not impossible that we lose um, with all the, the cards that they have in hand and, and the mana they, they have. But, uh, I don't know. Saga means that at least, you know, it's coming. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the Shuko. So I think I'm going to plow end of turn here. Then depending on what happens, I might be... What? Oh, they're they're plowing, plowing that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I think I I might be in the market for um for like bouncing Ursa Saga with Teferi. And I think in order for that to make sense, I'm gonna want to use mana for plow on this turn. All right. Let's uh. Let's do this. Uh, there's Cabal Therapy. They force of negation. I'm gonna snap off the spell pierce. Get it while it's hot. Oh no, that was a miss a misfetch. If they have force here. Uh shoot. Well, no, if they have force here, then it's fine. I just, like, blast on my turn. Blast the the, the Illusionist. Yeah, because I don't have any more, like, I don't have a second Volcanic, I don't believe, at least. Okay, so they do force, pitch force, sure. Oh, that's fine. And, well... That was not the like an amazing draw, but not a terrible draw either. Um, so let's uh, do like this. Let's bounce that. And um, well, we are one land away from hard casting. Uh, hard casting to fairy I suppose I was I, I, I was supposed to wait wait with the pyroblast I don't think there was any need for me to do that there um, with you know to fairy being in play and all okay so they replay their saga they have to if they can dump a creature here they can flash back the therapy yeah they do oh that's that's annoying so we're sort of just drawing from the top against a an Ursa Saga. That's kind of kind of an issue. Are they letting me untap here? That seems very generous. If they remember that there is a cauldron complete in my hand. Okay. Let's draw land. Ah, uh, bummer. But um hmm. Yeah, let's uh now we can do, we can take things slowly here, because now we can hard cast Force. And we have the Red Blast. Obviously the uh, the token that's going to come out next turn is going to be a little bit of a thing uh, to deal with, but um, yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll, we will have drawn a land by then. Saga triggers, more lands. So 
if they just attack Teferi here, I think. Yeah, I think that's fine. I've yet to see a staff of the storyteller here. That's oh, they attack me? Oh wow. They just don't care about Teferi. Interesting. Come on, something good. Oh, dress down. Thank you. That's really good. That's going to make... Uh, I guess maybe they're saving their Baleful Strix to, to um, get like max power toughness value out of the, the, the token here. That dress down is just, it's just really good. They make a token, sure. They untap, make another token, I would imagine. So the question is, do they like play like Pithing Needle? That would be a little bit annoying. I, I wouldn't assume. Okay, Shuko, sure. Sure. Ponder. It's acceptable. I'm gonna let them let them make their attacks and hopefully they will sort of point Strix at me and token at me and then like one token at Teferi that way. Like if, if I dress down beforehand, I would be concerned that they would then just kill Teferi or not kill, but like put him to one uh, loyalty counter. Surgical on Red Blast. Oh, or Pyroblast, rather. That makes me feel like they probably have Cephalid Illusionist. They're going to see the dress down now, so, I mean, the jig is up. This is why, friends, it pays to split your blasts. Okay, so they're down a card in hand, and now they know my hand. All right, what's the attack here? Okay. So for some reason they're holding this back. So the Strix is attacking me. Maybe they don't know how this works. All right, dress down is in, tokens go bye-bye. We draw a card. It's a prismatic ending. This was attacking me, right? Yeah, so. Suppose, I suppose that's fine. We can take the two damage. We, I could prismatic ending the Strix now, or I could prismatic ending the Shuko. I kind of want to see what they're, what they're doing. Um, I think I'm just going to keep ending in hand. Okay, Stoneforge is decent. Um, oops, no, no, no. Um, so let's, uh, we have to fail to find, they still, actually, you know what, they still have that Cabal Therapy, um, in the graveyard, and as soon as they remember that they have that, they can flash this bag and take the Cauldra, so I am gonna, I am gonna kill the, uh, the Strix here, up front. I'm up almost two minutes on their clock, which probably won't end up mattering because they are a combo deck, so even if we get a game three, they can always, like, there's a pretty big chance they can finish the game quickly. But it is worth noting that, I mean, they have two, then they have two, and I, I, I die. I could let this enter the interplay, but I don't see a reason, a reason for that then they could just Cabal Therapy anyways, so. If they saw that, the heads up on that. Okay, they can see, see the writing on the wall. 
All right. Um, not sure there's a whole lot else we do here. Oh, actually, hang on. Meltdown. I forgot that. That's probably a card we want in the deck. Probably not uh, Terminus. Yeah. I think, I think I got a little bit too clever with the Terminus. Okay. On the draw for game number three, let's see how we do. I think we keep this. It's a little bit like weak on, on, in terms of lands, but um, we have action. Just need to fade their Cabal Therapy which I do believe they only play one of. And then we are sort of, at least we can get some Stoneforge Mystic uh, action going. I do kind of regret not having the, the Batter Skull. They shuffled their library, okay. Let's, um, this is cool. We can end of turn Brainstorm, get Cauldra back into our library at least. So that's nice. And, uh, have it have the stone forge actually be card advantage. All right, let's uh, see if we are allowed to brainstorm here. Yep, put Cauldra back, put basic island. It does kind of suck not to have access to red mana to at least be able to represent um, the thing here, uh, the Red Blast. All right, Tundra, Stoneforge Mystic, let's go. Get Cauldra. You'd imagine the Stoneforge one might Bite a source to plowshares here, but we'll see. Luckily, we have we have backup. Well, we can even brainstorm the Calder back one more time and then Stoneforge again, which is kind of cool. All right, they fetch, and is this plow? It is plow, sure. So this is like build your own card advantage engine with the brainstorms and, and whatnot. Oh, the saga is like potentially frightening. They ponder. We also have no removal, which is a little bit scary, but yeah, we'll see. They do not shuffle. Okay, I think like saga, like Cauldra on its own can probably tangle with their saga tokens. Um, let's brainstorm here, put the Cauldra back. Unless they decide to get jiggy with it here. Which would be annoying, but I'm not going to fight like a, a Fluster Storm, or, which I obviously can't, but like we're a Spell Pierce or Minor Mist up. Uh, okay, so that was really good. We drew, I think we don't need the third force, but um, I think we do... We are happy that we got the, um, the volcanic and that we got the plow. All right, let's, uh, let's get this Cauldra into our hand for the third time and, uh, and let's pass. When I've played this deck, uh, the, the breakfast deck, I mean, I, quite often found that Saga was an awkward land because like there's so often you want to do something on your third and fourth turn um, that taps you out of making uh, constructs. But let's see, they're paying for something here. No, they're passing. So I get to untap here. Ooh, Red Blast is good. At, at least lets us survive, or at 
No, yeah. So what I mean is, I'm gonna tap out of plow to play the cauldra, but this gives us a replacement removal spell for uh, for the thing, the, uh, the the cephalid illusionist. Sorry, I keep saying the thing because my memory is shot. Um, all right, let's go. So cauldra doesn't, or sorry, a red blast obviously doesn't uh, kill saga tokens, but yeah, this is like. The reason Saga is good in this deck is that it doubles as both like low to medium sort of combat uh, engine, like it can spit out these tokens, but also gets their their combo obviously. And I think it does a pretty poor job at the at the token, you know, come up the ground kind of thing, because the the the, the constructs they don't have like any other artifacts aside from like randomly a, a Shuko or whatever, uh, or like a vial. To, to, to pump them, so they are rarely going to be bigger than like a 4-4. Four, four. Which is still fine. I mean, it's still, I think it's a, it's a good card in this, in the, in the deck. Um, but it is probably where, where Saga is not at its most impressive, but yeah. So I take four. I drop to 16, they take they don't block, they take five, drop to nine, I take seven, drop to nine, they take five, drop to four, I take five, seven, drop to two. I can plow if I need to. Oh, and this makes its first appearance. Not sure I'm supposed to to play it right now, to be honest, because that taps me out of plow. It does give me a does give me a blocker though. Yeah, actually, no, that's that's pretty decent. I have last plus two forces which should be like pretty good this doesn't take white man uh, it does it takes white mana to uh to draw a card uh, i thought it was just like one okay um but it gives us a blocker and i think i think we're we're happy right now Wow. Don't think we're happy about that. I think that changes things too much here. So let's uh they force back. Hmm. So I think let's say they have another force plus and they topped Excephalid, then it's it's bad news bears, but I do think I think I'm gonna I am gonna red blast this and then I'll I will plow or not plow, sorry, i I will force the uh the um the cephalid if they have it. And hope that's good enough that they don't have like randomly have like a cavern of souls, but I, I don't think they we saw that. Um Okay. You have Cephalid Illusionist. And if so, do you also have something to protect it with? Looks like we're moving to combat here. Um, yeah, I suppose I will block. I'll jump uh, one of these. I'll take three. Or do I want to? That I can not take anything and then I can like on the swing back, take them to one. But I know I think this is fine. All right, that was a good draw. But I am like really s choked on my white mana. I think I am going to attack with both. And then I don't mind taking like seven. I could even take eight if they have another Shuko. I guess another Shuko would be nine and, and go to three. And they might think they can they can chump and live for another turn. Okay, so they have Cephalid Illusionist. We have to force this. Good thing is that they have Shugo and not Nomads, because if they have force back here, they do. Okay. Then we like because this is not this is an activation as a sorcery, they don't get to uh 
unless they have like another force. So this this is comes into play. And on their first equip, I'm gonna plow. Um yeah, let's just do this. They can't force what am what am I saying? They're they're at one. Okay. It's plowed. Now they're at two. Now what do you do? Oh, they concede. All right, sweet. Off to winning start, even if it took like a long time. <laughs> um, grindy magic. All right, cool. I'll be back. All right, round number two on the draw. This seems like a capable hand. Let's uh, let's see how we do. This minor misstep would have been great on the draw. <laughs> Breakfast again? Seriously? Oh my god. Right. Okay. Um, hmm. I think we want to try and prismatic ending this. Just to not get, like, blown out. Uh, I guess we have the forces. Oops, no, that's staff. Like this. Alright, I'm going to be very aware that I have to play fast here. They force this, so that's fine. I'm not going to fight over that. They daze this, it sucks. Uh, but, you know, they would have had the daze. I guess they wouldn't have had the days. Like, that's not an argument. Because, like, if they have days here uh, and I don't do this and just keep my man untapped, I can force and not die. But, all right, never mind. Let's go. Tundra Mirror. Brainstorm, sure. Mark. Okay. And they pass. So they didn't have days before. No, I, I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I was gonna say like oh, I could stab, tap out for staff, but they have. I drew. I drew a land, so it's all good. All right. Brainstorm. I don't mind snagging this. Okay. This stone Forge. Eh. No, I think I will. Well, if they get Cauldra, I'm going to prismatic ending this. If they get Shuko, I'm not. Okay, they got Shuko. And I'm going to get the staff online here. I'm going to fetch basic planes. And I'm going to pass here and draw at the end of their turn if nothing too scary happens. Just to ferry. Mm -hmm. I think I am going to actually hang on. No, if they have, if they are a days build and I tap out to draw here. I think maybe I'm just gonna... I am just going to... I'm gonna sacrifice the ponder here. I know like leaving force in hand with no blue card is a little bit like not, not great, but I do think like the ponder... Um, sorry, the force is probably worth hanging on to, seeing as this is a... Uh, Combo deck. It's funny they don't equip here. I guess they forgot. All right. So let's uh, draw a card here. There's Stoneforge. Draw a blue card here would be great. We don't. So I think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna play around, around the days here. I'm gonna ending the Shuko. That means if they top deck illusionist or have it, we don't get like just instantly blown out. They have force here because they're they're pausing. That would just be incredible. The, the uh, joy joy feelings that would give me. I cannot begin to explain.
All right, it's in. I'm gonna stone forge here and hope they don't have days. If they have days, they have days. Don't. Let's get the cauldra. And let's hope they don't. Um, they don't have therapy. Get in. Get the attack in. Oh no, what's this? Another Teferi? Sure. Can't do anything about that. Probably bounce my Stoneforge. Yep. Okay, that's uh, that's an issue here. Houston, we, we have a slight technical problem. Oh wow, okay. Well, we can ending the illusionist. We would ideally like to ending. I guess the fairy just dies to uh, to the flying token here. So that's not the worst. They have one card in hand, but we are on on short notice with the with the Shuko uh, coming through the uh, through the saga. Um, I guess not. I mean. No, we're not. What am I talking about? <laughs> um, yeah, let's uh, let's get in with um, with the spirit token here. All right, I do get to attack and kill Teferi. I hope. All right, so we're suffering a bit uh, because we don't have we we we're not hitting land drops here, but. I guess I can't really complain about hitting that dress down, which is gonna kill the uh, the saga tokens in in good course. But like, if we could draw land next turn, we get to like replay Stoneforge, which would be really good. Uh, th sure, Thassa's Oracle. Go right ahead, and they do put a card on top. Stoneforge doesn't attack. So maybe that means they... No, I don't think they have a card. I think they're holding up mana to, to make tokens. So I don't know. Come on, land, land, land. No land. Staff, but I think... Um, like killing the... Um, killing the Saga tokens is, is uh, worth more here. Might as well attack here. I'm not like favorably. I don't think it's chump type yet. Uh, I can take a little bit of damage here. Kind of sucks we didn't draw another blue card because if they do have like, if they have a blue card in hand, they draw force or whatever, then um, stress down is going to get blown out, which is not so good. All right. Let's. Um, Let's see what they get here before we show them we have the dress down. They just don't get anything. But there's a Shuko. Sure. And they go to attack. I'm going to spare them the, uh, the, the taps. Okay, they concede. All right, sweet. Bit quicker than uh, the, the previous opponent. Let's say that meltdown is good and the fairies are good and the rebs are good. And was that it? I believe that was it. I'm not like sure. I really like cutting removal to be honest. Um, having seen how these games play out, I think probably the minor missteps can go, and the force of negations can go, and. Reluctantly, the batter skull can go, and I need to shave two more things. Like one pierce and one ending, I think. So it's a little bit different than I did it before, but I th think this is probably, probably fine.
All right. I think this is a keep. All right. Vista. Let's go. Shuko. Okay, they are threatening the turn two. So we don't have white mana. And Pierce is not going to help us. We like we could wait. Let's wait actually, because I guess Ponder sees one more card than Brainstorm, if in case we're like desperately looking for Force of Will. But um, I think holding up Spell Pierce for something relevant on their turn two that isn't that isn't the thing. Oh, but they just have it, Savage. Come on, Force, 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 Force. No Force, but. Hmm. Okay. Let's put back a Stone Forge Mystic and a land. And I suppose we just try our best to trick them into thinking we don't have anything. So I'm going to always yield to that, always yield to that. Going to have to always yield to Narc Amoebas. And then we have to be ready to respond to. Ball therapy. All right. Let's. There's a therapy. And actually, I don't mind even. I don't think they're going to blind name uh, Fairy Macabre. So let's just let them have that. And I don't think they have a second therapy. Uh, therapy. So I think this means they will have to stop their tracks. They likely name surgical attraction here. Fairy Macabre would be a sick read, though. Okay, Force of Will. Right, okay. So what do you do here if you're them? They haven't hit their their payoff yet. Um, right, so... There's a Calder Complete. There's the Dread Return. What is, maybe they have, they have that artifact that lets you like get something from your graveyard to your hand or to the top of the deck or something. Actually, yeah, let's stop here. Okay, they can see, they can see. Sweet, we got there. Fairy Macabre coming in clutch. Marcus knows what he's doing. They didn't name Surgical, but that was for sure the second most likely name after Force of Will. Surprised the name Force of Will that you know that implied that I had Force of Will and let this come into play. Um, anyways, <laughs> double uh, breakfast. Let's see if we can uh, get uh, three for three here. All right, round number three on the draw with a I think keepable hand. I think this is what you're supposed to do when you're playing control, right? Ponder and lots of lands, one rule as well. Um, I don't like playing up Prismatic Vista on turn one because I think it gives away too much information with prismatic vista you're basically admitting that or revealing that you are most likely a control deck potentially a very very narrow range of niche combo decks and that's pretty much it I think I might you know leave out a few things but I think it's just like with a situation like this I think it's fine to to not do that all right, so meanwhile, our opponent is having the time of their lives with uh, two tropical islands, so what's that mean? Okay, so now I don't so much mind because we're going to fetch the basics, get the basics going, and let's cast Ponder. Mm. Yeah, I think this is good. I don't think we want the Stoneforge, but I think we want... Both like uh, brainstorm and plow. I'm gonna get plow because if they go like oro, I might want to like plow it before it hits the graveyard. Let's see. Oh, wasteland. And there it is. Yep. Um.
So I'm gonna I'm gonna plow now. There we go. Please don't daze me. You do play daze, you scoundrel. Okay. So they can replay the the trop. Right. Okay. Some ponder value there. They do not shuffle. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Slightly concerned about where we are right now. At least they are a land. They're two lands away from escaping Uro. Um, I think I am going to... I probably have to get Basic Mountain with this. I could also just say, you know, whatever, screw it. I have two, two more non-basics that they can, uh, that they can um, wasteland. But I think I need, I need to have three colors in order to be able to prismatic ending a row at some point. So let's, um, let's go like this. Get Stoneforge, get Cauldra, and we can. Ooh, wow! I forget it. We can't do anything. Uh, Stoneforge bites the dust. Now, how aggressive should I get with this minor misstep? That is the question. Yeah, well, they have. I was going to say, are they stuck on lands? Is that what they? Why they're scared of Stoneforge? But this is bug, so likely not a plow deck. Dress down. Now, what would you? Why would you cast Dress Down right now, unless you have like what, like a Friction Dreadnought, or is it just a cycle? But then why do you not do it at instant speed? Interesting. Womp womp. Well, that's not good ahead of ourselves. They could have another days. Okay, they did not. Oh, I like Teferi. I like him so incredibly a lot, very much. Um, yeah, I'd rather have the volcanic, uh, the volcanic uh, wasteland in the tundra. To be honest, let's see here. Where do we go from here? Do we plus here? Would they be playing? Abrupt decay. I, I don't. I don't assume so, but you never know. But that would suck then. Um, I think I am gonna minus draw a card. They play Oro, and then like I'll plus uh, Teferi and be able to exile him with the prismatic ending on my turn, or on their turn. I mean, so let's get get our cards worth. Wow, it's not a bad pickup. We are a minute behind on their clock, so have to be mindful of that. Sure. Do you have the land? They do play Abrupt Decay. Wow. Last from the past. Don't see that in main decks a lot these days. Um, Not another land, though. I mean, I can dig it. So, probably go like this. And I will hold up Spell Pierce in case they have, I don't know, they could have anything like Green Sun Zenith or like Narset or something. And then um, in either case, like we have two answers for Uro here, which is good. Then we draw Brainstorm next turn. Oh, do they have Stifle? Well, in that case, I'm going to let them use it. Do I pierce here? I am. Yeah, why not? I guess if they have Bale of Summer, then it's a huge blowout, but uh, not, not assuming they do. Yes, you can sacrifice this Dreadnought, please. Thank you. All right, so we draw Brainstorm. We have Force of Will underneath it. Uh, I almost feel like waiting, but I'm impatient, so let's... Um, 
I guess put back the force. Or is it the dress down? Is dress down even really good? Dress down sort of nixes them on their their draw from Oro and then So, yeah. Yeah, the land is good. Let's um let's see. So wonder what their last card is. Well there's Wasteland. I guess Tundra goes bye bye. I guess it could be stifled. Ah, actually, yikes. Well, if it's stifled, it's stifled. Okay, it wasn't stifled. Let's get a uh, second island. Draw another ending. <laughs> and trips. Uh, trips of endings. They just can't draw another green or blue source. Come on, brainstorm. Let's shuffle these endings away. Well, so hang on. No, no, it, it, I'm not going to aim for the hard cast Cauldra. All right, and I have to be mindful of the clock. I keep, like, skidding further behind. Okay, there is a row. Let's go. And gonna wait and fetch with impunity while they're tapped out. Never forget. Okay, so I'm gonna fetch basic planes. Then I'm going to dress down and just to not let them draw another card. And then I'm gonna prismatic ending on my on my uh, turn. Dress down is such a cool card. I usually hate it when I'm on the doomsday side of things, but man, okay. I you can make the argument for plow here, but um, I think I'm 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 happy doing the ending thing now. Well. While they're tapped out, like plow, the argument for plow would be to save the endings for like, uh, like a planeswalker. Jeez, I just keep drawing prismatic ending. All right, well, wait, did I know that was there? No, right? I don't, I forget. I don't, no, I didn't, I didn't know it was there. I don't believe so. What is this? This is a guy that can like, like turn into a 12 12 or whatever when he enters the battlefield you surreal one you tap x he becomes a copy of a target creature in a graveyard okay so he becomes a copy of the 12 12 um i think he can get prismatic ended meet his ending in a prismatic in a prismatic way next turn he doesn't have haste so and we do have the plow. All right, I would like to draw some action here or a blue card for my force. All right, there we go. I'm going to tap two here. I'm not sure if, if, if he taps X. Does his mat converter mana cost change? Uh, do you know what I mean? Like, does he then have one converter mana cost because he becomes a... I, I guess it, it could never matter with prismatic ending, come to think of it, but it's a good question. All right. I wonder what our opponent is drawing. I would get, I would guess like Force of Wills uh, or like other counter spells because what aren't you casting and not when you're not, and you're not playing lands? It could be lands, like they could think that they can operate on four lands. Okay, they cycle a dress down at the end of turn, that's fine. Okay, they're paying costs. Dreadnought. So it's like that, eh? Well, I have more of these. And this is a, a an easy ending target, like one mana.
I do suppose if they fight over this, I'm going to hard cast Force of Negation. They have their own Force of Negation. They force. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna plow him. Uh, keep my force. It sucks. I would rather have ended it than plowed. Days, okay. So that was their last card. So they're just costing me a, a fetch land activation here. I don't think that... I mean, I guess what what else is their days going to be doing? But might, you know, can pitch to force. Will they pitch to spell peers over days? I guess maybe they thought if I had, like, the, the card counter spell. They have a land plus X. I have force. I don't think I, po I, I force this ponder. I, I rather chance it that they miss and I get to open up with like hard cast force. They do not shuffle. Okay, scary. Is this Uro? Yep. I mean, at some point I was going to run out of answers, I suppose. So, they get Uro. And they can escape him next turn, and they are at 32. So, we have some work to do. Cauldra beats a row, so that could be a place to start. Ponder is an excellent draw. So, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, uh... Let's draw the staff. Let's play the staff. So if they f if they wasteland us right now, it's a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world. Okay. So let's pass. We can if they don't wasteland the fetch land, we can draw the plow, and then fetch Chandra plow arrow. They'll be at thirty eight. And, <laughs> and this crazy game one is uh, where it's at. I also, I don't need to plow in response, I don't think, to the trigger. I'd rather, I'd probably rather untap, tell you the truth. They're at 36, they'll be at 41 soon. Got a lot of work to do, pal. I might even just draw this plow, how about that? And let's uh, let's plow. Let's fetch. Is there a non-waste landable target yet? Yep, there is. Let's draw a card. I can't really play anything I draw here because I know I need white mana basically. But uh, Teferi was a, a nice pickup for next turn, <laughs> and the beatdown plan begins. Brainstorm is a good draw. We have hard cast force, which is good. Okay, they are brainstorm locked. Force of negation. It's nice. Let's, uh, let's get in. And um, let's play Teferi. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce my staff. 
draw a card, replace staff, and now we just double our clock and we can draw another card next turn. So that's pretty sweet. All right, pass, and we have a wall of counter spells. They can like have another abrupt decay, but we have two like pretty good targets for that, so that's overworked. Two abrupt decays would be unfortunate. And meanwhile, there are 24 cards in their deck. They may play like endurance, I'm not sure, but like they are running out of cards. Sudden edict. <laughs> okay. That's um that's one way to keep the game going. Alright. Let's uh okay, that was good. Let's play Stoneforge Mystic. Get Cauldra. And uh let's attack. Alright, then we pass the turn. Mindful of my clock here. I'm a bit less than one minute, or pretty much one minute behind. Do you have an answer for Stoneforge? It would probably have to be Abrupt Decay. Snuff out. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cast this. And I'm going to draw a card in a turn with the staff. Brainstorm's good. Okay, I'm just going to play to not like lose too much time on the clock here. Put in the Cauldra. Charges the staff. Everyone's friends here. Swing for six. Pass the turn. So I do kind of expect them to just be playing out the clock here. Uh, draw a card. Other staff. Don't think I'm actually even going to play that. Play out my land. Okay. What's this? This is a seven, seven a turn, so that's still like a, uh, what's that, like um, a four turn clock here? Yeah, I'm just going to try and minimize my my game actions now, because it is a clock thing now. That's all that, that I think is left of this game one um, for the opponent, is sort of to like, run down as much of our clock as possible. Just gonna dump the staff of the storyteller. Scroll of fate. No, thank you. All right, you're going to be at three life now. And that should be it. All right, cool. We are two minutes and 49 seconds behind on the clock. Don't think that necessarily necessarily will end up mattering, but you never know. All right, so the Red Blasts are great. The Fairies are great. Back to Basics seems kind of sweet, to be honest. So what's not so great? Um, probably Dress Down is not the best. Um, I do like all of the removal. Not sure spell pierce so much on the draw. And maybe like some of these force effects can go. Because we are bringing in like 
other stuff to be doing although like it is really nice to to be sitting with a lot of forces maybe other pierce um and what targets does minor misstep have it has like a stifle it has dreadnought it has like cantrips it doesn't appear as though it has like targets in terms of their their removal spells or like their um I don't think they have a lot of like one mana counter spells, but I could be wrong in the uh, yeah, I think um probably I cut those. Not sure. This seems again like I feel a little bit on like unsafe ground here in terms of the the sideboarding, but we'll see. Sure. Let's go. And it is quite the joy to be able to play a deck that is this good against Wasteland. Um, although <laughs> I, I, it's hard to decide what to like, what to fetch with like with Prismatic Vista in the deck. Okay, so I do think I'm gonna fetch Blue Mana here. Get an under underneath Stifle. And then um, next turn we can decide if we need to like fetch mountain for the power blast or fetch planes to be able to access our white cards. Play the land, then play brainstorm. That's interesting. Also, like tapping the black source, kind of. I guess we kind of saw that um, already that they don't seem to to have like. Uh, like discard, I don't think I saw any discard in, in game one. But um it just kind of confirms it. Okay. Alright, so they miss on their third land. And I'm not gonna take any any action here. Alright. Is this dress down? It is dressed down. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna brainstorm now while they're tapped out, so I can fetch um, with uh, impunity. That kind of sucks not to hit a land there. I'm gonna put back. I think I actually am gonna put back force of will here, and it's one of either staff or stoneforge. I think it's the staff. And then I'm going to fetch Basic Mountain and Pyroblast here. Or I suppose Red Blast. Okay, so they Force of Negation that. Interesting. That's fine. They pitched in a row. Makes me feel like they probably have a Dreadnought here. If they have two Dreadnoughts, it's kind of like kind of nerve-wracking but we have two removal spells i'm just gonna let this happen um let's let's go okay well, that's not a dreadnought so this is just they wouldn't f like pitch cast to protect this if they didn't have um if they didn't have their guy uh, the Dreadnought here, so. There's one. Do you have the second one? Rough, okay. Rough, rough, rough. Well, White Mana Source fixes this, but um, if not, we are, it looks like, taking at least 12. And that's not a White Source. Ugh, do I ponder here? Risk. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna leave them with a pretty one first. And if they have another force here, then at least I can force back and not be dead. And then I'm gonna ponder here. No white mana. Uh, I think I'm gonna shuffle this. Yep. So taking 12 next turn. And then we, uh, we plow. I guess I had the red blast anyways, if they had had force for my my ending. They have Berserk here. That's friggin' cool. 
I'm gonna just, you know, applaud them. They don't, but I am at five now, which is uh, a lot less than, uh, than the 17 I was at mere seconds ago. There's Uro, okay. I have a present for you, Uro. They don't hit a land. They do play Stifle, though, which is something to to remember, right? All right, plow this. A force, pitching dress down. We do this. This is plowed. We hope their last card. We really, really hope it's not Stifle. Let's take the, the Uro and whatever. Dress down. They're gone. Okay. So, if it's Daze, it sucks the big one to give them a Daze on turn 5. But, okay. They either didn't have it or they were, like, tabbed out. I'm going to get Batter Skull, I think, just because my life total is extremely precarious, but I also have a second stone forge. Just like Sudden Edict. You have this guy, but you don't have anything in the graveyard, so for now we're fine. If they get to surveil like one of the remaining two uh dreadnoughts, that's uh well then that's the that's the deal. Okay, so they surveil a stifle into their graveyard. I love a blue card. I don't get a blue card, but um, I get this. Um, yeah, I think like I just want to get rid of this guy. Huh? Let's make it like we have a. Um, like we have uh, a red blast. Actually, tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this now. I mean, if they have uh, Abrupt Decay, they would have used it, I think. And if they have, like, Sudden Edict, and they're just not using it, or if they draw it next turn, then I want to not, like, not be able to. Okay, so they do have Stifle. All right, cool. So now they're Hellbent versus what we have, which I think they would need to draw Hot here to get this. Come on, blue card. No! It was just, like, a repeat of last turn. Um, tell you what, since we're not... We're not like getting uh, like threatened here. I'm gonna get the Cauldra and actually sneak that into play instead so we can get the beats on. I'm gonna have another Stifle here. That would be annoying, but I think they're out of Stifles. Okay. Still no blue card for my, my good pal Force. All right, we do appear to have turned the corner. There's a blue card. Um, yep, I don't think there's anything gained by putting in Batter Skull in, in the main phase, so. I should have attacked with, that was like one damage I, I forgot, or I missed out on. All right. There's another Jeremy Germ. All right, and we even drew a Teferi now. So, uh, sorry, drew a, a, a blue card to substitute Teferi. Days, okay. I mean, they may have double days. So I'm going to pitch force, uh, like pitch cast force here. Because now they're hellbent. Well, they have a land in hand. Okay. It's just plus to fairy. Send in the squad. And I don't believe these colors really facilitate uh, sweeper effects here. I guess they could have like a. 
a pernicious deed, but that doesn't kill the indestructible germ. Okay, cool. Three and oh. How about that, Marcus? Let's uh let's see if we can uh do do better or even you know keep it going is what I'm trying to say for uh, round number four. All right, on the play for round number four. And oh, this seems like a potential banana peel, but I'm gonna I am gonna take it. Uh, being on the play and all. Not gonna turn one brainstorm to put on display my desperation about not like having what I need, but we do need this brainstorm to to come in big for us or to hit like running lands. Once upon a time. Yep. Yeah, uh this is always like a tempting card to uh to 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 counter. Ugh. Pitch fatal push. Okay, so now I have to brainstorm or I'm gonna lose it. Okay, there is a land. So I think I'm gonna put back a Stoneforge Mystic and Force of Will. Seeing as we're gonna be, be brainstorm locked here. Uh I'm gonna hide the Force of Will, because that's that's like uh like that's a pretty big spoiler for them to know about and them seeing this hand they might think stone forges are only are only sort of threats so they might be incentivized to take that i wonder what deck this is i'm not really sure i mean depending on what shenanigans they're up to here oh this is ephemerate or what what's this until end of turn target against when this dice turn it to the battlefield tapped under your with a plus one plus one counter I th think probably this is worth uh, the card, like, disadvantage, which is, like, this is just card parity. So I don't know what kind of damage they can do here, but we are at least going to have, like, one more layer of protection if they go nuts next turn. This doesn't feel like reanimator, right? Like, in the, any traditional sense of the word. This is like, like a... Um, ooh. Yeah, not gonna fight over this. This is scary. This card is super good. I played it a couple of times in, in the, my Death Shadow deck, and I've been pretty impressed by it. Just like a 3-2 unblockable creature for two mana at face value is pretty strong. We draw the last card of our Brainstorm lock, and then we really have to hope to, uh, to hit a land, preferably a white producing land. And then we have to then decide if it's Teferi Time or Stoneforge. All right. I get to pass. And come on, opponent. Do your worst. Okay. So this is Death Shadow. Like, um, what's the... What guild is this? Um, I forget the names of the grill. Uh, Golgari, right? Yeah. Okay. So they have three cards in hand, and they could play a Death Shadow... As a 1 1 right now, if, if they wanted to, if they had one. Okay. Land. No! Okay. Not terribly upset about picking up, like, Spell Pierce, but do need the land. I suppose when, when something is offered to you, it's rude not to take it. We're down to land. All right. I suppose eventually you'd think I would draw land. Pass, pass, pass. No! <laughs> the fourth? Okay. I would imagine they would be able to find something relevant here. Oh, and another land? That can't be what they were looking for. Okay, maybe it was. Maybe now they, they actually do have Death Shadow. I'm going to force. This puts... Pressure on us to really find the white source soon so we can get Batter Skull going. Oh, jeez. Okay. So let's see here. We're at seven. We draw a land. It's a fetch land. That means we're at six. Oh, never mind. Yeah, probably this just kills us. We drop to seven. We draw a non fetch land. We play Stoneforge. We drop to. Uh, One, and then we can bring in Batter Skull. Yeah, that's no good. 
think I think we're in, like I don't know brainstorm into land plow plow or something might be a thing. Well, there is a land which we can't use because then we're dead. So, GGs. All right, let's um let's see what we so we're up against some sort of uh Golgari Death Shadow deck. So it might be good there. They had basic swamp, so I don't know, but they also had like lots of like shock lands. I'm not really seeing a whole lot here that's really good, to be honest. Maybe Terminus. Maybe a couple of copies of, of the old Terminus. Hmm. Oh, Grief is such a pain in the butt. And maybe we can like like get them with, with a, a sneaky back to basics. What don't we want here? Uh, Minor Messed Up seems to have quite a few targets. Spell Pierce, perhaps less so. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't hate, and I don't hate like boarding out of some number of force effects, I suppose. Yeah. Is there anything obvious I'm missing here that's terrible against them? Dress Down is not amazing. <laughs> I suppose. Like, I guess, like, dress down with grief on the stack if it's not evoked is a thing, but other than that, dress down does seem quite mediocre, to be honest. Hmm. Maybe a spell pierce is better than. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. Let, let's try this on for size. Let's see how we do. All right. Yeah, I I can get behind this. <clears throat> I think it's kind of important we don't get griefed on turn one. They mulligan to six. Uh, just because, like, I think the staff really is quite, quite great. I would also just love if, like, this was maybe another blue card so that I could spell Pierce at once upon a time. If they make the mistake of letting me play my land before they cast it. So I didn't see Wasteland, but I wonder if they have it. Thoughtsies. Alright, I'm going to pierce here. That means if they if they do have um, grief, then it's really annoying. But, you know, you know it is what it is. Alright, looks like we get to our, take our turn and cast the staff. We found a blue card for force. I like. I think in theory we should be a pretty decent. We should have a pretty decent matchup against the Death Shadow deck with all of our like our our plows and our um, like million pieces of removal. But yeah, never know. Okay, cycle the street wraith once more. Sure, thought sees. Gonna let this one happen. They will for sure take one of our white cards. Yep. I think we draw first. Yeah. I like that. Another staff. That's good for like maybe next turn. Mm. Well, we're going to draw the land here and probably put Spell Pierce on top just in case we want that one. Sure. They probably take ending. Or I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I would imagine they take ending if they have like a, a creature here. Okay, they take the second staff. Dothy Voidwalker. Sure. I mean, this gets gets ended, but then they probably have like a um, like a Death Shadow. So I think I'm not gonna draw the Spell Pierce, and I don't think I'm gonna respect Wasteland. So I'm going to take uh, a Tundra. So are they like, they're pausing here. I was going to say, do they, uh, do they like have a like surgical on our, on our ponder here? Let's, um, let's kill this. And I'm going to play the land because I think having lands out is like better than um like uh bluffing them that I might have something relevant like a spell. 
I'm expecting, I was going to say I'm, I was expecting a Death Shadow here, but, but no. Ooh, this is nice. Let's, uh, let's do this. And I'm not going to bounce the staff in case, because I can't replay it the same turn. And if they draw, like, a discard spell, then that's it's not, not so good. But now I think we're in, uh... We're in uh, Pleasure Town here, right? Because we can ponder it in a turn. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna give this to them. Not even mad, you know? There's Death Shadow. There's Grief. Um, guess I'll ponder in response. Yeah, I don't mind this. Not one bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Stoneforge and then Terminus. And then draw the prismatic ending, and they are gonna take the prismatic ending, and then I'm gonna terminus the board, and it may or may not only be the um, the death shadow that that I get, but we'll see if they have like mana reanimate or something for the grief, then that goes too. Okay, there's death shadow. All right. Let's uh, flip the Terminus. Let's cast it. Let's bounce Staff. And which one do we get here? I think we replay the Staff, to be honest. This feels so good. All right. Let's see what opponent does. There is a Wasteland, how about that? What's this, four mana? It's hard cast grief, sure. So you take the, um, you take the Stoneforge. You would have, they would have gotten the, the equipment, so. Well, let's see how we do here. There's another Terminus. <laughs> that one was blind. Let's, um, I mean, I'm not gonna say no to that, right? Plus to Fairy, draw my card. You could argue that I'm supposed to like wait and draw the card um, on like after giving them their turn in case they like discard us. If they like rip a, rip, rip a, a thought seize or something. What's this? Okay, they re reanimate grief. Well, I mean, they're at two, but I have no cards in hand and Teferi is not long for this world. Like, a staff here would be amazing, right? We get a staff. Like, if we don't, I think I'm going to bounce. I'm going to sacrifice a Teferi to draw a card and, like, get this back in their hand. Yeah. Because it's just going to die anyways. And, yeah. This is, uh, this is the bad time. Come on, no land. Yay! Come on. Something good. Brainstorm? Ponder, I'll take Ponder. Um, sh -sh 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 -sh. I think um, we might as well brainstorm and then take the Stoneforge and play it. Not exactly sure what I'm hoping to... Ooh, that's an interesting card. Yeah, let's um actually let's do this and um I guess I shouldn't have uh, fetched there. That there was no reason to do that. I'm gonna play Stoneforge. If they get the mana to hard cast the grief, then they will have to make a decision on what it'll be. And hopefully they it will be the hard cast grief and not the pitch cast. Uh, because if the pitch cast, then the, the, you take called right because you don't tap your mana, it doesn't matter. But let's see. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's just auto yield here. Okay, they take the Caldra, fair enough. Oh, well, that's uh, it's a solid turn. I'll give you that. And that is not a useful card right now. So we have to hope they don't draw removal here. And I suppose we have to jump. I guess we have one turn. Like, they can attack us down to, to six. 
Okay, so once upon a time, don't show me another death shadow. Dothy, okay, which they can't currently. Well, they can cast it next turn, actually. Ugh. I think. Yeah, I think I just have to uh, to to get in front of this. Come on. Prismatic ending. Sure, that's uh. Well, that's something at least. Let's um. Ugh, this Caldra. They're at two, though. I mean, I just, like, if I get a staff, this is a much more manageable clock right now, right? So, jeez. Oh, it's no good. All right. I feel like the Back to Basics is doing work here, but um, it's unclear how much. Now their beatdown uh, begins. Come on. Yes. Sweet elixir. I think I am going to wait this turn, uh, this time. I can draw two cards. Is that what you're telling me? Oh my. So I'm going to do it on their end of turn just to not get like cheesed with uh, another grief pitch or whatever. Fatal push. Rude. Mm. Is this worth? Is it worth? Uh, yeah, I think it is worth drawing a card. Is it worth drawing two cards? Hey. This will tap my... This is a Tundra. This is, this is going to not untap. But it, it would just get wastelanded anyways. Uh, still for Troka. Okay. That's fine. All right. What will it be? They serve in. We're at 10. I think I'm going to ponder first. See if I can get some defense here. Oh, lovely. And um, I am going to just try and get the game over with and not plow. I'd rather not give them any life um let's see this can't block so i mean there's that i could just try and win with stoneforge but Is this fatal push yeah how about no scott all right i take three go to seven probably just uh Cast this right. Uh, and put them to one. Charge the staffs. We love to see it. Okay, they can see. Sweet. Alright. So we have to win one on the draw here. I kinda dug the terminuses. I think I actually might even want the third. That might be a bit bit of an overkill, but I don't think the dress down is, is, is where we want to be at. I think probably one dress down is fine. Or sorry, one back to basics. Mm. I, I don't know about minor messed up. And maybe is Wandering Emperor a thing that we would want? It seems decent enough, honestly. Maybe in, in lieu of one of these. All right. Let's see here. Oh, oh, this hand. I think I have to mulligan this. Yeah, this is much better. We'll lose uh, force. Like, if I get Thoughtseize here and they take the staff, that's not great, but... In the other hand, like, I had one land. And, and one Brainstorm. Okay. Hmm. So, like, if I, what did they exile? Plague Engineer. I'm going to let them have this. I was going to say, like, I could force this and then, because if they have that black spell that lets them, like, reanimate it at the end of turn or whatever it was, then that's really annoying. And they have reanimate. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, they have reanimate. Now I'm just down one less card uh, than I would have been. But uh, it's not great. Not looking great for our hero, but they are down some cards though, um, and we won't be able to grief uh, to a prismatic ending this grief. So we will need to draw like a plow. Okay, this Dothy. In Dothy, we can ending. Oh, it's a uh, collector. Oof. Ah, yeah, because it turns off the staff. Makes sense. Um, I 
think we just wait. I don't feel like prismatic ending on this is relevant right now. And it's like only two power. And if we, um, if they like shock in, like fetch shock, and then plump in a death shadow after we blew a, a prismatic ending on this, then it's a little bit not the best. Okay, maybe I will do it now though. Because then we can flash in this one next turn. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Take the pressure off a little bit. That is how this one works, right? I've never played with it before. As long as it's as it entered this turn. Activate loyal loyalty abilities. You kill a tap creature, right? Then you gain two life. That's pretty sweet. Okay, I'm I'm gonna be at eight now. Let's hope they don't discard this out of our hand. Let's hope they don't have wasteland for this tundra. We have to hope for a lot of things. You see. No. <laughs> oh goodness me. Well, I suppose couldn't really expect them to just keep having nothing. Okay, Wandering Emperor is going to bite the dust here. And they pass. Plow? Or Terminus? Neither. Uh, I sh maybe I shouldn't have. Well, now they have perfect information, and maybe I should have, like, risked the Tundra. Yeah, this is just, like, coming down to us not drawing a removal spell. For this grief. Sigh. Now, like, any creature, I think, does it for them unless we have specifically Terminus on top. Because, um, like, we're at two, which is not great. All right. Come on. Pass the turn, please. And let's get something. Yeah, okay, okay. I mean, it's not nothing. They can replay the grief next turn, but, um... Who knows what this Teferi draw will yield. Oh, look, another land. That's amazing. I'm going to pass. Well, this bot is another turn, at least. Not shocking it in, so they pretty clearly don't have Death Shadow. All right. Yep. And you may have my Force of Will. I would just, like... Aside from an actual removal spell, I would just freaking love to draw a brainstorm right now. Get rid of these two lands. What? Oh no, the wrong spell. All right, GG's opponent. Well, the trophy dream is dead, but let's see if we can uh, rally and get a uh, get a four one, or uh, if we have to settle with a three two. Yeah. Well, it's Yuri on deck, so it's like maybe death and taxes. So let's uh, let's go. Kind of sad to not have force of will, but like we have answers for Aether Vile, which is probably the only thing that I would force on turn one against the Yorion deck, at least on any traditional Yorion deck. So uh, let's uh, let's play the Snow Covered Island, make like we could be uh, a combo deck or whatever, and uh, pass the turn. This could be like a Bug Zenith deck or something else and yeah them having fetch lands doesn't really indicate death and taxes okay so it is like some sort of like maybe bant deck be my guess bant, bant or bug they do not shuffle okay so hmm i think i am going to Cast Stoneforge here. This might seem a bit aggressive, but cast Stoneforge. Have them, like, spend a turn, like, removing it or whatever. And then um, on my next turn, I will cast and activate the staff. That's my plan. And ain't nothing you can say that will make me change my mind. Let's go. Okay, second prismatic vista. All right, do you have the plow? Green mana. 
Not a lot of one green mana removal spells. So are we getting to, to Stoneforge here? Looks like it. All right, that puts off the Cauldron plan. Um, not the Cauldron plan, I mean, this. that puts off the Staff uh, plan. And let's serve in. And I kind of feel like pondering here, looking for more lands. So, oops, gonna do that. Spend my mana. Yeah, that's good. Let's, uh, let's, ah, I should have drawn, Ugh. annoying you can't sort of redo the, the ponder stacking because I should have drawn the Force of Negation, just like the, for the Flood of Strength, I'm going to draw both of them anyways, um, that way I could have ch at least had the choice to pitch Force of Negation rather than Brainstorm if I have to force something this turn, but let's see. Snow covered, snow covered. This feels like, oh, it's there's red in there. It's rug. Interesting. I was gonna say it feels like uh, the 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 snake, the ice fang, but uh, it would appear as though that's not the case. So what can happen at like instant speed with this mana? And why shouldn't I play Staff of the Storyteller first? So let's uh, let's attack. So they have that. It doesn't have Death Touch, which wouldn't matter anyways. So they get to draw a card. You take. Uh, this, could, this could possibly like be like a rug food chain. Wouldn't rule it out. Just trying to like work out what it could be. There's the fourth land. Could be Rug Alluren, but I don't think that's the thing. I think you need you need to have black in your deck for Alluren to, to make sense. With the Cavern Cavern Harpy, I think it's the it's the card that you it's kind of the clutch for that combo. Oh, natural order. It's natural order rug. Let's um I'm gonna draw a card with the uh, with the staff, and I I must admit I actually now cannot remember what was on top of the deck. If it was a blue card, then I'm gonna feel stupid because that's kind of what I want. I have a feeling like it wasn't. Hmm. You don't play days in your Urion deck, right? So I'm gonna brainstorm looking for like two blue cards. I don't find them. Yeah, I mean. If they have force backup, our shields are down now. If they have days, I'm gonna look like a like an idiot, but you know, it is what it is. So this is probably getting Atraxa, which I don't Is Atraxa indestructible? I forget. Um it has lifelink though. So I don't think we're we're beating Atraxa. Stoneforge Mystic getting batter skull. And then at some point equipping Batter Skull to Cauldra is I think that might do it, but yeah, it doesn't look good. Alright, let's um let's uh, hope this hope hope this holds, but I'm not expecting it. Please, not days. Oh sweet, they didn't have it. Wow, I feel like I kinda got away with one there. Okay, so at least rug, possibly a fourth color, you never know. Natural order. Like, red blast is pretty embarrassing in the face of natural order, but probably decent in the face of a lot of other things they're doing. Like, uh, at least cantrips, probably, may, like, maybe planeswalkers being a Yorion deck, but they probably are, gr like, green heavy with, like, natural order. So maybe this isn't that, that hot. I think the Terminus are good. Um, don't know. They probably are an, an Uro deck. I would imagine. Don't hate Dress Down versus like Atraxa. Um, so what am I cutting here? Maybe like Minor Misstep. And uh, maybe 
maybe three terminus is like one too many. What else? I feel like maybe I have to cut some of my like my win condition package here. Maybe like cut a staff. I don't know. And maybe cut the batter skull. Treated more like a combo, a combo matchup, which you know it kind of is. All right, let's see. Love to hear about the the sideboarding from any anyone uh, that wants to chime in. I'm like really not sure what I'm doing. So I'm uh, keeping this hand. They keep seven. Let's go. Ready to snap off a prismatic ending on like a mana birds, but the, there isn't one. Okay, so they are the fourth color, so they are all, they are also white. They do not shuffle. Good to know. And let's go. Second dress down is not the most exciting, but uh, then again, you know, it's not the worst. They didn't have white mana before, so they probably have access to plow. There's brainstorm. Green. Carpet, eh? I think carpet is worth the prismatic ending. Okay. Not another carpet, please. Okay. Fair enough. So they, they get to ramp something awful next turn. I'm going to brainstorm, see if I can find a fetch land, rearrange this hand a bit. Don't find the fetch land. Do find terminus, which... I'm somewhat excited about. I'm going to put that two cards down. And I am going to end the carpet. And I'm going to hope that I don't get, like, uh, natural order this turn. But if I do, then I hope it's, like, for progenitus so that the terminus can uh, do great and wonderful things. Looks like they're just attacking. They're giving me the turn. So I think I'm going to play Teferi. Or am I? I could also, like, dress down on their turn if for some reason they get to natural order next turn. Then both, like, dress down both makes it so it tracks it doesn't trigger, and it then draws me the terminus. I think I probably like that more. This terminus is going to be, like, somewhat sad if they just never play like another creature uh, on their turn but looks like they're just not interesting i mean i don't mind drawing the terminus and stone raining them when they're obviously sort of choked on lands but it does feel somewhat underwhelming okay um I think I'm going to play the Teferi here. It feels like they have Plow for the Stoneforge. They probably also have like a Force of Will here or something. Yeah, so that's that's fine. Force, Pitch Force. Sure. So they were pretty clearly banking on that carpet to be their mana. Okay, there's a third mana. They also had third, three mana before and they weren't able to do anything about it. Uh... So we have five, six lands. I'm going to cast the, the Stoneforge. It will likely get plowed, and then Calder will, will be in our hand. And we are just one more land away from hard casting it. So that's not the worst. Because, like I said, I do expect this to bite the, uh, bite the bullet on... Uh, on a plow. I don't mean, did I like like go too skinny on wind conditions here? I boarded out one and I didn't board out in the Emperor. This is like what half a wind condition, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Maybe that was a little bit, a little bit sort of un unwise. I'm not sure. So, no plow at the end of turn. There's Uro, okay. We were kind of expecting him. Or do they draw land? 
they do not draw land. So right now Uro is not escaping anywhere, but they are just a blue mana away from him doing so. Him, it, you know, whatever. Okay, that was a cool draw, because um, we get to play this. I just need to make sure that it can have more than one counter, right? Whenever you, um, yeah, you would just put a story counter on it. So this triggers, then it triggers again from uh, the, the token that Caldera Complete creates. So that token comes into play, which triggers the staff. Now staff can draw two cards, that's really good. And that's kind of, I think, keep up with, um, with Uro, at least for the time being. And if they do escape Uro next turn, I do think I am going to, I'm at least, I'm tempted to like cycle the dress down because it, 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 it's card advantage, so to speak, in the face of card disadvantage by the time, um, like Uro triggers. So we stop them from like drawing a card off of, of Uro, but yeah, I don't know. Sorry, you get the point, I'm sure. What's this? Prismatic ending on on our on our boy. Mm, let's um, let's draw a card. Never know. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, let's uh, let's negotiate on that one. You have another one. But imagine you you don't, unless you drew two with the draw step and the arrow. Oh, they do. On the staff. Interesting. Okay. I mean, that's a card we don't get to draw, but it all it already drew a card. So. And that was somewhat unexciting. Unexciting. Um, let's uh, play the land and swing for seven. they fetch here that takes them to seven then we can dress down the euro trigger well they found their land but they can't uh they can't use it because they'll be at one now um and they found it one turn too late it would appear so but they could still if they have plow or something here um they can put it off um I think I'm terribly excited about the spell pierce. I do think I don't mind shuffling here. Like Fairy Macabre would just seal the deal here. We did board in two. Hmm. Spell pierce again. Let's shuffle. Yeah, Force of Will is good too. Plow. We we force. Oh, don't have blue uh, red blast, please. Looks like they do. All right. So I mean, this swings it in their in their favor. We have mana to equip a cauldra onto. Stoneforge or the Flyer even. But now they get to drop to 5, go back up to 8 with Uro. And they're drawing an extra card every turn, so that is kind of nasty. I, I could have hard cast the Force. I was just thinking like if they have something like Flusterstorm or something, or I don't know. Oh, they go this route. Now yeah, that's respectable, unless I draw a removal spell, I guess. Which I do. But then I don't have mana to... I don't have the mana to... Uh, what you call it? To, to equip, right? It's seven to equip? Yeah. Hmm. So is this plow better spent on this or on the Uro that's coming in 
next turn. Ah, geez, I don't know. Mm. I think I um, I will hold my reservations now. I probably will plow the arrow because... Oh, wait, how does that work? Like, if we don't plow, plow the arrow, they will go to 8. I guess they will go to 7. So actually, maybe we do... No, but then plow on the collector roof takes them up to 9. Oh, they even have one more here. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, they could also just natural order us out. Wow, this feels like it really kind of got away from us. They have natural order. Okay. I guess they probably get a Traxa. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to plow her in response. But they still get to draw like a million cards. A force of will. Wow, so that's strong. Okay. Uh, how does this work? Do I get to see which ones they put in their hand? They can take. Yeah, this is a nice spread. Yeah. So I do believe this is probably over. They didn't draw Force of Will, so I guess if I were to... What, they could play Carpet here? Yeah, if I were to like... No, even if I draw a Teferi, I bounce her... I still, uh, nah, never mind. They can green suns for a lot here. I'm going to concede, and we can take game three. I oh, That really got away from me, right? Hmm. Do I change anything for the sideboard here? Probably not. Maybe a third terminus is worth considering over, like, say, a dress down. Yeah, I'm going to try that. All right, let's go. Last game of the last round. Yikes. Let's mulligan. And let's keep. And I suppose we, we bottom the terminus here. I think we do, like, fetch Island Ponder, looking for more lands. And we find... Ugh. No, I think we do take this. We can cycle the dress down. Um, and hopefully find, like, another land under there. This is really sweet, and that is an uncounterable way to deal with Uro. I do like that a lot. Carpet. Mm. Oh, man. Uh, I hate this. I hate this so much. I don't think I can let them have this card. This is such, this is like a real mirror breaker. As much as Red Blast is a mirror breaker for, um, on the Jeskai side, I think, like, Carpet is sick. It's like, yeah, how do you feel like if, you're, if your uh, control opponent just has, like, a repeatable Dark Ritual of any color that they trigger every turn? Oh, no, no. Ah, oh, I'm such a doofus. I should have dressed down at the end of turn. All right, this is... Uh, it's not... Pretty. I'm going to dress down, hoping to hit a land here to keep my mana development going. Uh, not rewarded. There you go. Wow. Taking a mulligan and then being on the play and then having to 
like force of will early that's uh it's kind of rough maybe maybe it's a big big punt on uh my point my part to side out these uh minor missteps when i i saw carpet in the sec in the second game okay opponent doesn't shuffle come on land there is a land okay sweet um I think I think I'm gonna to ferry on a uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. So if I to ferry, they're gonna fetch dried arbor. So I might just be dead next turn in either case. I think I still like to ferry. At least this will give them something to think about. Like I have a force in my hand. Okay. Not too upset about that. Unless they, well, in either case, if they kill me now, and they don't fetch Dried Arbor, so we're fine. Um, but yeah, I'm not too upset about that. Sort of reigning in the uh, the card parody thing. We're like balancing that out a bit. They're black too. They're all, they're all five colors. Living their best life. All right, let's uh, let's go for the for the mystic. And we get Caldra and hope we're not we're not dead. This can't fetch dried arbor right, so can't die right right here and then uh, right here now, I mean. They have a very lovely mana development going on over there. Mocking our spell pierce. Hoping this is Uro. It's not. It's four mana. Okay, hoping they green sense for Uro. How about that? Grist. Okay, and now they get to... Uh, Get the arbor, use Grist to kill my, uh... Hang on, you may sacrifice a creature. So if I plowed this... Also, why the fuck did I not spell Pierce? That green sun. Okay, well, I mean... We... Somehow... Somewhat got to... Live to tell the tale. So now, do I point this Cauldra at Grist? I think I probably have to while the Grist um, defense is down. Why didn't I spell Pierce? That? I, I was like, I just so wanted the Uro. I actually wanted the Green Sun to resolve. <laughs> um, that's dumb. There is Uro. There's my boy. Just do not stifle this, dude. Or I guess I have the pierce for that. Okay. Please, nothing too bad here. What's green, green, or green, blue going to do here? I wonder when I'm supposed to, to use this. Obviously before they get to their next main phase, but I don't think there's any rush right now. They are pausing. Like, are they gonna surgical our plows or something? Yep, any day now. Um, I think I'll play this out. I 
think I probably fairy macabre. While while I, my spell pierce is so, sort of live, in case somehow some way they have something to do. What do I take here? I just I guess I take the uh, the arrow and the grist. Okay, let's hope they don't. They just like the don't have just like a second arrow uh, lying around casually. Okay. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Minor misstep. You could have been minor misstep. Come on. Is this green sun? Okay. I do get to pay off my spell pierce here. We are two lands short of uh, re-equipping Cauldra, so that's not happening anytime soon. Well, we shall see. They have one card in hand. They can uh, they can grab or uh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. They didn't reveal Yorion. Interesting. I didn't even notice. So I guess Yorion's not in their sideboard anymore. Interesting. Come on, land. I mean, I boarded out. Fucking stop boarding out batter skull. Um, okay. I will attack. Now I guess I'll play my squire. Doubles the clock. I'm not sure it matters, but um they must be just puddle of relief seeing that I uh, just chose not to search. Okay. Land? <sighs> Ugh. Look at all this mana! Why? Why spell pierce? Okay. I do not believe this is going to last uh, like we're going to be allowed to do this for much longer. Okay, they're paying costs. No, nothing too scary. Another Uro, and they can escape him right away. Ugh, that's terrible. Terrible. Okay. At least they will be tapped out in case we, like, draw Plow or uh, Ending. We have to pierce back up in case they have, like, Force or whatever. Okay, there he is. They're keeping up Red Blast, it seems. But we don't know. Okay, so there is a land, so we get to equip. Uh, I should have fetched the basic mountain there, that was dumb. But I don't think we can actually even attack, right? Be because they just don't, they don't block. They drop to nine. They go back up to 12, draw a card. With this untapped, we can at least, like, they, they can't attack into it. They can, of course, if they have plow or whatever, or, or ending for the, uh, for the Stoneforge, but... And that was going to happen every, anyway, and we just don't get the one attack that we would have gotten. This is a natural order? No, please not. Uh, it looks like it is. And I do believe we just lost the game. Yep. So they reveal there's a plow, some abundant growths. What's this? Oh, the, <laughs> the frog? Uh, that's cool. Yeah, okay. I mean, when your opponent gets to resolve their four mana combo haymaker, then they usually get to win. 
All right, I am gonna concede here. This ended up being like a really long video. Marcus, I really hope you uh, you had fun uh, and found uh, that you you got what you what you came after. Um, I think I think it was a blast playing it to be honest, but it did very you know clearly display the one thing that sometimes keeps me away from co like control decks, which was just the length of the rounds. I had some absolute like killer games that took forever. I, I, but I mean that aside, I think it felt pretty good, honestly. I think like a couple of times I did feel like maybe I was a little bit light on action, but that just might be recency bias because of what happened in the last game. Um, anyways, thank you all very much for watching and I hope you enjoy. And if you want to submit a deck, um, get in touch with me. My, my contacts are in the, in the video description and, um, and let's have a talk about it. And thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with some more legacy. Bye-bye.